Today I'm going to show you just a very quick introduction to something we call Stack View. Okay, here is the complete project after this video that you can download and we will continue this project in this video. So we have a very simple master details uh, photo mania app sharing photos. We can click onto this and let's say I want to share this uh, photo and boom, all of my social media icons, it displays in a very beautiful uh, grid system. Now, if you look at this and try to imagine how we can implement this, there are two ways. Number one, we can just have a bunch of images or buttons and lay out them on the screen using auto layout before, right? Number two, we can put that in a collection view. Well, both these ways are um, figure outable, implementable, but number two, uh, collection view just for these things and we have to lay out stuff put them down three by two it's quite hard it's quite a lot of code number one auto layout but there is no built-in if you ever try with this kind of UI ever before now I know that maybe in your project you may not want to view the same UI but this UI is very very common in many apps out there so if you try to do this in auto layout there is no built-in way for you to lay out three things aligned with the same spacing and then the two by two three by two underneath that that's too hard now in auto layout it is not impossible but you will be you will find yourself adding like I think 100 or something auto layout constraint you have to got many padding views so that you have the spacing between the views and then you have to nest them in the views oh my god that is so hard just describing that is hard so our uh, um, stack view in iOS 9 simplify everything for us developer so I'm going to open the starter project right here and here is our project don't worry about all of the other code this is just a dummy project that I usually do to demo for you in the code hangout show so in this open the main storyboard you will find the last view controller over here we call that a view controller to share stuff okay so we are going to just first adding some layout onto the screen because with stack view you can simplify a lot of things but you cannot get away from auto layout constraint. It's just very simple layout constraint, okay? So let me show you. The first one, number one, we will need to lay out the visual effect view, the blurry view underneath that so that we can have that as the main view of ours. So I will add, click into the main view here, the blurry view goes to the pin menu buttons and I will uncheck the constraint to margin and add these four constraints so that it will show the whole thing like it will attaches to four margins okay the next thing is very let's do this very fast where's my mouse I, okay here we go i think i lost all right here we go so the next thing is this buttons over here the back button now this one we can do it in auto layout also so i will just do it like this adding the new constraint the pin button right click the pin button over here and add the two constraints and we're good to go everything is blue everything is happy now is our main deal how we can lay out these five images they are images okay now if you wonder how we can make these images into buttons very easily put into that tap gesture recognizer very easy okay what we want to concern about is how we can lay out these five images do we want to put in a collection view? No way. Um, so let's do it with auto layout. The first one is you will need to make sure that we still, hey, if you don't know about auto layout, that's fine. But auto layout, all it does is it, ne it needs to know four pieces of information so that it can lay out stuff easily on the screen so that it can work from any form factor devices any 4 inch or 5.5 or 12.9 inches okay so what it does is it will need four pieces of information number one the X position if you think of the iPhone it has the X, um, X axis the Y axis 
okay? So we're going to need the x, the y, the width, and height, okay? So what we do is, first, we will tell Auto Layout what is the width and the height of these images. Very easy. I will just have a constraint so that I can add the width and height of this. So just press, hold the control key, drag into the image itself like this. Okay, I will do five of those like that. Now, at first, it would yell to us with these um, red constraints, but that's okay because now why does it, and then I will add constraint. Why is it yelled at us with these red lines? What well, tells us that you tell me to lay out stuff, auto layout says, but you miss some constraints, okay? I need four pieces of information. X, Y, width, and height. You just tell me width, that's okay. You just tell me height, that's great. How about my X and Y? If you don't tell me about my X and Y, you don't know how to lay out this stuff, right? So. We would worry about that. Um, stack view will let us know about that. So I will hold the control key again and have the width and height. Hold the shift key, add the constraint. And for this also, width and height and add the constraint like that, okay? So that is auto layout. And believe it or not, we just need to add two more auto layout constraint so that we can accomplish this thing, okay? So let me show you. What it does is in um, iOS, iOS 8, I believe, from iOS 8 and 9, Apple developers realize that there are so many layouts in iOS, a common layout, that it's so hard to achieve with auto layout. So they invent something called Stack View. It is the most, the, the most incredible innovation to alter layout known to date. So what it does is it will stack together, it will combine together many common elements inside a stack. That's why they call it stack view, right? So what we can do is, let's say, we want this, these three images, right? We want these three images to be a row, and these two images to be another row. We can do that with stack view. So I will select these three images, holding the comment key, and then goes into the auto layout menu here, you will see that, oops, I just messed up. So you will see that there are four buttons, oh, right? Before there are only three, we have auto layout resolve issues, we have the pin menu, and we have the align button. Now we have another one called stack. What we can do is we can click onto this and boom, it will stack together these guys. It will stack together these three images. Now we are good to go. But now, the cool thing about Stack View is that you can align those, you can distribute the width and height, you can have the spacing, and you can have vertical or horizontal. Let me show you. So let's look over the um, document outline. We have a view, the buttons, that's okay. And we have a Stack View now. This Stack View stacks together three icons three images over here, YouTube, Twitter, and Vimeo, right? So if we select the stack view over the attribute inspector, here we go, we have another one called stack view, and the axis here is horizontal, okay? If you want to play around with that, let's choose vertical, and we'll stack together three images vertically like that. Now I want to select vertical, horizontal, okay? We can also have alignment. Okay, here we have the same size between these images, that's that fine. So we can choose the default fill. If it is top, then we'll align those images on top. Just imagine if you have to do auto layout to align three images on the top, it will be like three layout constraints, right? The distribution is also you have you. Do you want it to have equal spacing between those? Yes, do we want? Or we want to fill those things proportionally based on the intrinsic content size. I know this is a quick introduction. We will go um, deeper into this topic in the later episodes, but I would just want to introduce you to this, okay? Next, we can have the spacing between these images. Let's have here 24. And boom, see the magic? No more padding views, no more uh, nested views, just a simple 
stack view. Okay. Next, we can do the same thing for these two images. Stack them together. Click onto that. Here we go. So that is our second stack view, and we can have the spacing here is 24. And boom, looks good. Now, hey, um, you can ask, hey, Dirk, okay, I know. So now, how we can do this? We still have auto layouts, right? You are partly correct because the power of stack view comes into play when you realize that we can have nested stack view. You can stack together many stack views, okay? So if you look at the document outline, now we have two stack view. The first one has the three icons. The second one has two icons. So I can select these two stack view and guess what I'm going to do? Stack them together. Boom, see? All right. Now this one, the third stack view, the next the stack view right now, it's going to be the axis is vertical. If we do it horizontal, it will do it like that. But now we want it to be horizontal. Go. Cool. And the alignment, all of the alignment distribution is fine for us right now. Okay. If you have the alignment like fill, then we'll make it like that. But we want it to be center so that it lands in the center like this. Right, and the spacing here, let's choose it 24 and has the little spacing vertically between these two stack view. Okay, so it looks good, but notice our last step here is we still have an auto layouts problem. The reason for that is it still yells at us these six, five icons and also the stack view. The reason for that is it doesn't know what is the X and Y position of these images. But guess what? Instead of having multiple views nested for this, we have one single stack view. And if we tell, if you look at this, this stack view contains all of these icons and the other stack views, right? So now if we tell auto layout on the X and the Y position of that, then Auto layout will knows what is the X and Y position of these icons, and auto layout also knows the width and height because it's based on the other constraints. Cool. Then now we can select this constraint. I'm sorry, the stack view, and I will make it horizontally and vertically in the container, like that, and add the constraints. Okay. So now we have yellow because the misplacement of the frame. So I will choose this, update the frames, boom. Everything is happy, everything is blue. So now I will run the project and see how it looks like. Here we go, if you succeeded, that's a good sign. Okay, here is our project. Let's look at this. I've selected an image like that and click the share button and boom, all of the images it's displays like that. How cool is that? All right, so that is for this episode of the Code Hangout Show number 62. I hope that you enjoyed this. And as always, don't forget that after you click the button and download this starter project, when you enter or submit your name and email there, I already sent you the new course that I'm going to teach you how to build my new iOS course. I believe that right now it will change depends on the time, the new version of iOS. I change it a lot, I update that all the time. But right now at the time of me um, doing this demo, I am teaching you this all things table view app, building this beautiful photo table view app, the photo mania app. So I hope that you will come back to your inbox and check your um, new course that I send you as my thank you for checking out Code Hangout. So as always, enjoy, enjoy the course, enjoy this video, and as always, go out every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world. I see you in the course.